When you log into SAP Business One, you'll be greeted with some financial KPIs, also known as key performance indicators, and some dashboards, and they provide real-time information about your company's financial health. For example, on the top left, you can see I have a KPI indicating I have 38 open AR invoices in the system. If I click on that 38, I can see all 38 invoices and I can even drill into one of these golden arrows to bring up the actual invoice in question. This makes finding information very intuitive and fast in SAP Business One. Here's another KPI showing my receivables overdue. And as you can see, I have approximately $2 million in outstanding receivables. A nice bar chart on the right shows my top three items by total sales amount. I can hover my mouse over any bar and see the actual total sales amount for that specific item. SAP Business One allows you to customize a financial template for any given user. By default, SAP comes with a financial template cockpit right out of the box. But as you can see on the bottom, I've created one called Finance 2. When we open this up, you'll see that I've created this for a specific financial user, showing their relevant KPIs and dashboards. The real benefit behind this is that SAP Business One allows you to customize a cockpit so that you can consume financial data in a quick and easy format and get real-time information about your company's financial health. On the main menu here on the left, you'll find the financial and banking module. Within the banking module, this is where you would perform all your day-to-day -day accounts receivable and accounts payable functions, such as recording customer incoming payments and deposits, outgoing payments to vendors, as well as performing check runs and EFT payments. You can also perform bank statement reconciliations, as well as run many standard banking reports. Let's take a quick look at the financials module. Here you'll find the chart of accounts. You can create journal entries, perform fixed assets accounting, as well as create budgets, perform cost accounting, like creating cost centers, and you can also run all your standard financial reports, such as a balance sheet, trial balance, profit and loss, and many, many more. Let's take a quick look at the chart of accounts. You can also drag and drop the chart of account module right onto your common function window. Now you've got a shortcut to your chart of accounts and you can minimize the main menu so that you have more real estate for your financial cockpit. When we open up the chart of accounts, we can see all the relevant drawers on the right. For example, your assets, liability, equity, revenue, cost of goods sold, etc. When we click on the revenue drawer, for example, and then click on our, a sales revenue account, such as the seating reven revenue account, we can see the respective balance, as well as a golden arrow that allows us to drill into the account balance. Here, we can find the underlying transactions such as the invoices and credit notes. You can further drill into any of these documents and pull up the respective AR invoice, for example. Remember, in SAP Business One, a document like an AR invoice is an accounting transactional document. In other words, when you post an AR invoice document, it creates a journal entry in real time. Let's drill into that journal entry. Here you can see the respective debits and credits for example, we debit the customer's control account as well as credit the respective sales revenue accounts behind this AR invoice. The benefit of automatic financial reconciliation is that it eliminates the manual entries and human error so that you have precise, accurate, and real-time financial data. Under the Financial Reports module, you will see I have some accounting reports, some financial reports, some comparison reports, and budget reports. For example, under the financial reports, I can see all my standard reports such as a balance sheet, trial balance, profit and loss, cash flow, and many others. For example, let's run a profit and loss statement. The selection criteria window allows me to filter down my results. For example, I can run it for annual, quarterly, monthly, or even for a specific date range. I can even dictate what I want to see in my first column and second column. So I'll show my local and foreign currencies respectively. 
I can even filter down with an expanded view to filter by project codes, regions, or even item groups. I can even filter down by some user-defined fields. So let's run our report. As you can see here, it's showing all the details because I've selected to show by level 10, which is the most granular view. However, I could roll it all the way up to a level one and get a summary view of my financial profit and loss statement. SAP Business One has a plethora of financial reports right out of the box, along with robust reporting tools to ensure that you have fast, real-time insight into your company's financial health.